Let's go. Hello, people. Uh, this is Diego again, and this is going to be my gear video. Um, and of course, I want to preface this by saying that I am not an expert at all. I'm just kind of just barely, you know, getting started. Um, I have done a lot of research, and I've tried to get things that are uh, are of good quality and stuff like that. Maybe a little too much so in a few places, um, but I'll be doing my first my first kind of practice run through with my gear and stuff um, within the next week. So I'll get to know my things and um, revise from there. Uh, with this type of thing, I've kind of already um, committed to starting the journey, you know. So and I know there's going to be mistakes, so you know I might as well just get through with them. And learn from them. So, this is my whole pack. Uh, again, I'm a, I'm a total beginner. This is probably not the best way to pack it. Um, my backpack is not really meant to be living out of. Um, but yeah, I'm just on my legs. Um, there is a possibility of maybe getting a bike and putting an engine on it, and that way I can care. I don't have to carry so much stuff on my back, which would be real nice, um, potentially. I'm kind of still, st still on the on the lookout for a good mountain bike, um, a good cheap mountain bike that I can find. Maybe because if I buy it in a store, it's going to be four hundred plus dollars at the least. Um, but if I find one a good one on uh, Facebook or Craigslist, it's usually like three fifty or less, anywhere from two hundred to three fifty or something like that, and that's a lot more uh, affordable. And uh, then the engine. Um, the specific ones that I'm looking at is called a four-stroke bicycle conversion engine kit. Um, those ones can cost anywhere from like $250 to um, about $100. And I'm probably going to buy one that's probably around $150 to $180 or something like that if that's the route that I go. But anyways, let's get into my gear. Um, and let's just start off here at the top. Um, this is my sleeping bag. This is probably the place where I over... Where I, uh, probably prepared a little bit over prepared um, it's really kind of off the center of my backpack I don't know if you can how well you can see that but um, <laughs> like I said this is probably not the best way to pack I kind of have uh, some lines kind of tangled up here to keep it taut against my against my backpack so that way it's not kind of flopping around as I'm walking like that as soon as I un unhook that but, um, but yeah, as you can see, there's, there's some kind of, uh, bungee cord here. This is some kind of, like, bungee cord type of thing, um, and that's kind of where I've been keeping it. So let's set this aside for a second. Yeah, this is my, this is my tent. It is, I said I over-prepared for it because it's a zero degree, and it's the summertime, I don't know if that's going to, like, because I think that's going to be too hot for the summertime. Um, we're just now, it's, uh, we're in May, so within the next few months is going to be the, uh, the prime heat of the year, so to speak. So, um, but yeah, let's open it up. It's, uh, it's, uh, decently small. I like that it comes with its own kind of, like, carry, like, it has these, these things that you just kind of loosen. And you pull it off, and then you, so that way you can, when you put it back on, you can kind of tighten back down. But it's a mummy, a mummy tent. And I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try to not take too long on everything. Thankfully, this thing, uh, I took it out and kind of tested it out once. You know, it's probably the the recommendation is be as familiar, familiar with your gear as you can be. And goodness gracious, it really wants to freaking stay in there. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's a mummy thing. Has a little hood on it. Um, I really like to sleep. I don't know if you can... I'll stand up. Maybe you can see it. I like to sleep with my one leg out, like making a T-shape like this, but uh, unfortunately I can't do that, so I'm going to, but like I said, in the summer, 
I'm probably not going to use it as like a full mummy type of thing. That's I guess this is more for the winter. I'm not sure. That's just what I'm guessing. I needed or I need to do more research. But that's that. Okay. Um, as you saw with my pack, um, to keep my zippers kind of closed and together, I, I have a bunch of carabiners. Um, just good stuff to have. Okay. Uh, here is my bed. Again, kind of haphazardly strapped to my backpack. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just like, it's a shitty kind of foam thing. It's really light. Um, I bought it for 11 bucks at Big Five Sporting Goods. Um, there were other ones. This is one thing that I'm kind of thinking about. There's, there's these ultra light um, inflatable ones that can kind of pack down to something like this size, which is a lot smaller than pack, packing this thing. Um, it'd probably be about the same about the same weight. This thing is really light, and I'm not expecting it to, for it for it to last me forever. But you know, and it's not very big. You know, I'll, all I really need is something to cover my my upper area and my hips. Um, I don't really. My feet can kind of dangle on uncushioned ground. That's fine with me. Um, Again, more things that I'm going to learn once I do my practice run. Gosh, I don't know why my eye has been pulsing today. Um, this is my backpack itself. This is probably not the best backpack for uh, living out of. Um, it's what I found online for 25 bucks <laughs> from some guy on Facebook. Thanks. Because I think this backpack is probably worth about like 35 bucks. Um, and a good a good backpack that you should buy for, for this kind of thing would probably be more around the lines of 45, 50 bucks would be a good deal. Um, a mili there's a bunch of military backpacks that have like rails on the back and stuff like that. But this is what I got. So um, this is a solar solar um, solar charger. It doesn't have anywhere it charges into, so. this solar power bank, or not, this pa regular power bank that I will put in here, leave it charging, and uh, this thing, being really small, it's kind of heavy, it's deceitfully um, heavy, Sorry. Uh, so this holds um, about three phone charges, and um, and then also I, I'm going to, I, I, one thing that's coming in the mail is an mp3 player and this will probably charge my mp3 player from full charge about 10 times over um so yeah there's those things um i have this tarp here uh i bought it as something intended to kind of put under the tent as a tent protector so that way any sharp rocks or something like that this stuff is supposed to be like um tear and cut resistant and i did they had like a little sample sheet on the outside of the of the package when I bought it, and I took a knife and I cut it and stuff. So, and it, I mean, I cut it with a knife, but not sharp rocks and stuff like that. I don't think that's gonna break, and if it does, I can replace it. Live and learn. This is something that's really cool. Um, I know a lot of people say this thing is kind of like a get more gimmicky. Uh, it's. A phone charger, a really crappy phone charger, um, you plug in your phone right there. Uh, one, I really like that it's hand crank, you know, if everything else fails, um, you know, I got this hand crank. I had, I had a hand crank thing before, but I, I, I was just being a dumb kid and I just was <laughs> spinning it way too fast, <laughs> trying to see if I could supercharge the thing, you know, go back in time, I guess. But, um, but it has a flashlight. It has a two-level flashlight, so that's, like, the first brightness. Then it has, like, that brightness, which is more yellow, I guess. I don't know. It's, like, I guess it's stronger. And then it also has a radio. Soon headquarters. Northwest Marine encourages you to be safe. 
Um, and then it also has a siren button. Um, I probably should have warned you for your ears before, but I'm gonna warn you for these ones, for this one. So yeah. Um, and then you can hand crank it. Um, you can kind of tell how much power it's using because if it's on, it's a little, it gives you a little resistance, which is kind of funky and cool. And then as soon as you turn it off, it'll give you less resistance. Um, but it also has, so yeah, you can charge your phone out of it. And one thing, I've never seen a USB cable like this. It's just like a thin little platform. I hope you can see that well. But, um, but yeah, that's a USB, that's a USB, uh, mail part, you know? You just plug that into the, into a charger and you can charge it through USB that way as well. Uh, okay. There's that. Um, I need to get more clothes. Um, and I'm wearing a pair of, gosh, I hope that's not too revealing for you. Um, um oh, a pair of, of good underwear that I would have shown, but it's pretty much the same, same material as this stuff. Um, it's really lightweight moisture wicking. So that way, one thing I've, I've, uh, seen a lot of is try to stay dry because if you're wet, then everything's going to be heavier and it's just going to be, it's a lot crappier, they say. So, so yeah, this is moisture wicking. It helps you stay dry, you know, with the, with your own body heat. It helps to, uh, evaporate the water and stuff like that. And it's really lightweight. I don't know how durable it is. I'm not going to test it because I want it to last. Um, for food, um... I guess for food, I should show you something else different first. Um, so this is my this is my cooking kit. Really, it's just a stainless steel cup um, that you can boil stuff in. I plan on boiling water in it. Um, this is Sterno. You take the lid off. There's gel inside. You light it, and it stays lit for apparently 2.25 burn time. I got two of these, so if I, you know, don't know how to make fire, um, my lighters run out or whatever, or whatever, I guess I can spark this and it'll heat up. I don't know about that, actually. I might need a lighter for this. I'm not sure. But yeah, so I got this to boil water, and then, so once I can boil and heat up water, I can eat stuff that's uh, powdered, like just add water type of food. And then in order to get water... Um, I have a Katadyne water pump filter. So, so you just plug in some hoses. This is the clean hose that you want to keep uncontaminated, so you keep it in the bag. But yeah, you just plug that in here. And then you put this in the water. You go pump, 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 pump. And then water comes out this hose into wherever you're, wherever you want it to go, water to go. So that's really nice. Um, it can filter up to about 300 gallons, and I don't know uh, how fast I'm going to get to 300 gallons. Um, and the water, this this thing cost me um, 54 dollars, and the it's pretty much just plastic aside from the filter. The filter is the big the big part of it. And a replacement filter is going to cost you about $44, which is kind of tough. But, um, you know, you'd rather have water than die, I suppose. Okay, so there's those things. That's going to be for my water eating. Um, this is just not, this is a granola bag that was sealable that I decided to keep because, I don't know, the granola was tasty. And I might buy more of that stuff. And, I don't know. What I have in here. Um, I have my big pile of hemp string that I should probably organize. It has a bunch of loose ends and I should probably just try to wrap it around something. So hemp, just to have, you know, string and rope. I have some needles along with the thread. Um, I really don't care what color. The functionality is more what's important to me. Um, so that's those things. Um, I kind of have matches hidden away everywhere in my backpack. Um, I like to, I like, I like the idea of putting it into a sealed bag, so that way they are kind of waterproof, so they're not going to get wet and messed up that way. 
Um, I heard you can you can um, dip your matches in wax, and that that'll waterproof them. The problem with that is that the wax on the stripe on the on the on the box. I tried it, and the problem was is it made this strike spot too um, not frictiony enough. The wax kind of rubbed off onto it. And it ruined that one that one thing. Luckily, I still had the other side of the of the box. Um, but maybe I need a special candle. I don't know. It didn't work for me, so sealed bag. Um, I have a first aid kit. Be smart, be prepared. I just kind of bought one that looked like it was good. It has a bunch of cool stuff in it. I added some stuff into it. These are some toenail clippers, some like plier looking clippers but that I had for a while. Um, some of you may be grossed out by it, but I kind of also use, use them as tweezers. <laughs> um, so, yeah. uh, some more matches. In this thing I got a bunch of antiseptic wipes, bandages, nitrile, nitrile gloves, nitrile, nitrile. Um, I put my own um, Benadryl in here, some Dayquil. Um, there's a little bit of uh, surgery tape or something like that, I guess. Um, there's a one-time use cold pack, which I, I, I am a little paranoid. You're supposed to like really squeeze it hard to, to activate it. I'm a little paranoid about keeping it just kind of haphazardly into my bag without organization. Because um, I'm paranoid that it's going to um, get snapped and lose its one-time use. Um, emergency blanket, um, just little antibiotic ointments and stuff like that, bandages, pads. Um, this this is a, a neat little survival guide um, type of thing to uh, certain certain things. So you know symptoms of bleeding, um, external and internal. If you get burned, thermal or chemical. Drowning, electric shock, fainting, and just a bunch of different scenarios. So there's that. Um, utility rope. Um, I think this is a paracord. And I actually made a bracelet. I used to make bracelets. Uh, a lot, and um, I don't know, it's just kind of nice to have a paracord bracelet, you know? If you really need string, you know, you can always just cut cut it open and it unravel it all and use the string to tie up a tarp or shelter or whatever, you know? Um, I have a few, I have, I bought a little three pack because they didn't sell them in singles, but um, a little three pack of crappy cleaner things for when I'm done with washing my dishes. Let's see. A barbecue lighter, because that's... I happen to have it, so toss it in there. Um, more water food. These are more mashed potatoes. I have more things than mashed potatoes. I have... cheddar broccoli rice. I bought some of these rice sides and pasta sides and I found out a lot of them um, want a cup of milk which is which is tough. I'm just probably going to make those while I'm still living here. But yeah, Mexican rice. This is oof. I got a little bit of wetness into my into my bag the other day when I was uh, been going on walks with my gear just to kind of get used to carrying all the weight. Um, but this is a good one that needs only only um, water. I got rubber bands because they're awesome and multifunctional. Uh, a bar of soap because it's good to be clean. I have some I have a, a bag of seeds. Um I guess, really, honestly, the 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 biggest reason why I'm carrying them, um, I would I would love to plant them. They're radish and kale and spinach. 
Um, I would love to plant them, but I'm not sure where I'm going to be planted um, for a while. So, but honestly, I'm kind of carrying them in case civilization breaks down and we need a new currency. Seeds are a good option of uh, value. Um, peaches and cream. I have a bunch of these little baggies. That's something that I got over there that I'm not going to grab and show you. But, um, yeah, peaches and cream. Uh, oatmeal, I got a few of those. Um, just some trail mix, and I freaking hate the raisins. Pack of playing cards. Keep myself entertained. That's one thing that I also want to, I also really want to try to find one of those, um, it's, they kind of look like really old school Game Boys. Um, sometimes you can play Yahtzee, or, um, I've seen one of Oregon Trail and stuff like that. And I don't know how long those, those battery lives last, but. That'd be something to kind of kind of check out to keep myself entertained. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be walking versus staying at campsites. Um, during the summer, I probably want to stay at campsites more than walk. Um, less heat and heat exhaustion and stuff. Uh, here's a, a pocket knife. It's just a crappy one, a crappy one I bought at Walmart. Um, I think it was literally like a dollar ninety nine. Um, also, something that I bought at Walmart that I assumed was going to be crappy and need replacing eventually um, was this axe, Ozark Trail. Honestly, it's been really good. Um, I went down to the to my local park. I found this stick in the river, and I chopped off all the all the branches, and um, then I shaved down all the all the nubs, and then. This is my walking stick now, thanks to my axe. The axe also comes with this um, flint striker. Um, it's I don't know if it's kind of hard to see, but um, maybe it cuts out of focus or not. But there's a flint striker, and the majority of this though is uh, shavings that you can kind of shave off, and uh, and then you strike those. You stri you um, strike those shavings with some some sparks, and that'll that'll start your fire. Is the idea? I have not tested that out. Let's see. Uh, I think we're pretty much done with stuff in here. I have a pen. I'm gonna bring also um, a journal. Not this journal. This is my sketch journal. I might bring a sketch journal. I have a journal that I have writing and drawing in. Um, something to write in. Um, this is a sleep aid, rescue sleep aid. I don't know if you've heard of this stuff, but even aside from camping and hiking, this stuff is freaking awesome. It's not melatonin. Let me read you the ingredients. Active ingredients, um, white chestnut, rock rose, clematis, um, star of Bethlehem, plum, impatiens, cherry, no, not just plum, cherry plum. But, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. It's just like one of those neat little, I guess, um, mom remedies, you can call them. Okay, that's it for the main pocket. <clears throat> Let's see what I got up in here. I have my knife, my blade sharpener. Um, I might need to replace this. So far, it's been working well for me. And, uh, you know, there were, there were a lot of options that I kind of had to go... To, uh, to a different area in Walmart to find this one that was like two bucks or something like that. Because um, the other area where they ha they didn't have that, uh, everything was at least like five, six dollars. This uh, are, is my bag of multivitamins. Please, police, do not think otherwise because you, are, you will be wrong. A little mini lighter. bandana. I used this, I used this the other day, I just like propped up my backpack and then just kind of like laid down. Kind of that way the sun kept out of my face and out of my eyes. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I have a life straw. Um, I don't, uh, I don't remember how much, how long, uh, how many gallons or whatever this thing is going to last, but 
It is a nice backup. Um, I'm primarily going to be using the water pump um, as my primary source of drinking wild water. But it's nice to have that. I have bags of tea, really light. Uh, gives you a little flavor, you know. Um, I think especially in the uh, in drinking river water, there's like some kind of a taste that comes out. out. I drink some river water from the cat from using the pump, the catadine, and uh, I don't know. It tasted it tasted a little funky, and I think putting green tea would just kind of put my mind at ease uh, about its earthy taste or some so to say, so to speak. <clears throat> um, a poncho that was a dollar from from Walmart. I'm saying a lot of things are from Walmart. I don't necessarily recommend, nor do many people that know what they're doing, recommend shopping at Walmart. But you can find things that are useful there. Um, another thing <laughs> bought at Walmart, um, some muscle cream. You know, if you've been walking a long time. Um, I use this when, I, I'm, when I'm working at Domino's, when I'm, there's like the table that's like a little bit low for me. So I have to crouch, back, and that just kills my back. So I just, I'll put this on my back. Speaking of Domino's, um, right now, uh, I don't know how relevant this is to you, but we're living in the, in the um, I think we're like two months into the COVID times where like some places are just starting to open back up for some contact. Um, if, if you uh, interact with customers at Domino's, um, at least in my store, you have to be wearing a mask. You have to stay six feet away and stuff like that. I personally think on this whole COVID stuff that it's kind of overblown and that we should get back to our lives. Um, I feel like people are going to call me a monster for that. But I just, I think the way we're living is very fearfully. And I'm not, I'm not too into it. Here's my sunglasses. Garbage. But these are, uh, they're cheap at my local grocery, grocery outlet. They're kind of like beef sticks, biltong sticks. Um, they're kind of like beef sticks. Well, they are beef sticks. Green tea. Um, this is my, my tooth, toothbrush, my toothbrushes. I have uh, my, uh, my nephew, when, when I moved uh, out of uh, living with, with my nephew, uh, they left behind some toothbrushes and, and little toothpastes and these little flossers. So I have, I currently have a different toothbrush that I'm using until it runs out. Um, there's two backup toothbrushes for the next thing. More matches. Okay, I think that's everything in my backpack. Um, I do have this bag. If anybody knows what this is, what this bag is for. I see maybe tent cords or something like that. Uh -huh. um, I did talk about my stick a little bit. Uh, I have that thing. I don't know if it's like low or high blood pressure or diabetes. I've been told I'm pre-diabetic before or whatever. But, uh, but it's nice to have this stick mostly for getting up, honestly. You know? And then uh, going up and down steep things, you can have pretty much another footing, which is really, really nice. Um, just walking with it on flat ground for a long time, honestly, it's a little inconvenient. I might, um, I might look into getting an aluminum one, an aluminum walking stick, potentially, and then uh, that way I can kind of collapse it. I, there, were, there was an alu aluminum one at Walmart, but the problem was is I barely put any force on it. And it started collapsing, like uh, into its like collapsible, collapsed, collapsing form. Uh, okay, and then I have some some more little carabiners here that are hooked to my backpack and hooked to my my tent. And this is my tent. My tent is like legitimately smaller than my sleeping pad, which is crazy. Should my sleeping pad or compare us on? It takes a minute to like roll up, roll this up all the way, but yeah, there it's it's like pretty much the same size. Like this is my this is my one person tent. 
It is Lynx Alps Mountaineering, one person. Um, and thankfully, it's tall enough for me. I'm like six foot, six foot uh, three. And it's tall enough for me. And I, I was going to go with a bivy. Um, but the issue with the bivy is that I do have so many things that I couldn't bring my backpack inside the, uh, the tent with me. And if I'm at camping places or something like that, um, I don't know uh, how much uh, stealing is. But, you know, why leave that stuff out there and vulnerable? Tape. Um, I'm going to get rid of the cut part of it. And I might even just kind of wrap some around my, my stick. Trail mix, pretty self-explanatory. More oatmeal. Um, this is a folding shovel. This is for pooping. Plop. Cover that bitch up. Well, actually, um, I'm trying to figure out how to get the freaking. So you dig a hole, you put your plop in, you wipe out your plop, and you put the paper. Thankfully, paper is paper is uh, biodegradable, especially toilet paper. Um, nice and terracottable and eatable by the worms and bacteria. So then you just kind of cover it back up, stamp it down a little bit. Maybe I should be gentler. Um, I've been planning some some walks that don't have grocery stores for a little while. I'm not sure. I need to figure out how much food I can hold at once. 